So this is how we perform um, our daily evaluations. So we'll remove the patient from the bench top incubator. And then we will place it under the microscope. The microscope is equipped with a camera, which is where we will take photos of each embryo um, on different days of development so that we can track the development of the embryo. take a photo of it and store it in the patient's home so we have a record of every state of the day. Um, So we do evaluations, um, typically on day one, day three, and day five, possibly at day six if the embryos need to grow for one extra day. So as you have a, you can take a look here on the screen, on day one, this is um, the structures we would like to see. So this is an oversight over here. And to show normal fertilization, we need two pronuclei, which is these um, two um, structures in here and then uh, it has two polar bodies which is what we require for normal fertilization. Um, on day three we typically like to see a seven or eight cell embryo so as you can see yeah, that egg has now divided into seven or eight cells. Um, sometimes there can be more cells that's a good sign and if there's less cells we're not too worried at this stage as embryos still have a few more days to grow and catch up their development. Then on day five, what we like to see is a blastocyst. So this would be a blastocyst here. Here there's two differentiations of cells. So first we have our trophectoderm, which is these outer cells here. This will create a placenta during our pregnancy. And then we have a cluster of cells here, which is called your ICM. And this will create your baby. So this is typically what we would like to see on day five or day six. These embryos are also then graded and given a certain quality grading, um, which helps us select embryos for transfer.